didn't help at all what's going on welcome back to another video on the connor guas youtube channel we've got enough pipe over here we're building we're building the pro mod that's what we're doing actually no i just made sure that i got enough in case i mess up this might just look like a pile of sticks with some things and stuff here um, but this is going to be a wishbone uh, a wishbone wishbone proportions of a wishbone so then that's going to delete the pan hard bar and then we're also doing a uh <clears throat> Like a real heavy, real, real heavy duty anti-roll bar. These took me a long, long, long time to make. I'm not proud of that. But uh, it's in there now. It is, it's not welded. It's just kind of wedged up in there. But it is a, about, about exactly level with the rear end. That's in there. Now, what I'm doing in my mind, what my plan is in my mind, is on one side of this tube, on the forward side of this tube, is going to be the mount for the wishbone. The wishbone is going to go up. The wishbone is going to mount right here, right underneath this level, and it's going to go forward with one leg that way, and forward with one leg this way, up to the front of the fuel tank, right here, just like that. And uh, there's going to be another crossbar that goes from <clears throat> right here. You can see that spot that I cleaned off. That's the, directly the bottom of the cage. Um, there's a six-inch plate right there. I'm getting a phone call. We should make tele telemarketing should be legal in the United States. We should get rid of that. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, it t it ties in right there to the bottom of the the cage, the six point uh, on this the six by six steel plates that are for the main hoop are right there on that spot, and then the same on the other side. So I'm gonna go directly across up there, directly across up there, right in front of the fuel tank and that's where I'm gonna mount the front part of the wishbone. I think I'm gonna split this up into like a couple of videos and make it more digestible because reality is I'm not getting all of this done anytime soon. So whatever I get done in a day or a, a day or two, I'll edit it into one video and then um, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep it going. So the wishbone is gonna get rid of the pan hard bar and the pan hard support that was, the pan hard support board goes here to um, right there to those two bolt holes that are just for to the anti-roll mount and then i don't know if you guys remember i can insert a picture of what the rear end use looked like with all these crazy bars back and forth basically all of that like silver finished tubes in this picture are going to be gone and all we're going to have is this chromoly tube here that goes that the wishbone mounts to and then the anti-roll bar is also going to mount on this this bar but it's going to be on this back side um, and then it's going to go it's going to be on this back side the arms are going to come out out this way and then it's going to mount somewhere up here i haven't decided yet but we're going to get rid of all those crazy crossbars the reason we're doing that is because the pan hard bars are terrible for cars that separate so you're sitting at right height and the car is nice and the car is nice and the rear end is sitting right where it wants to but as soon as the car tries to separate since this pan hard bar comes down at an angle um it as soon as the rear end one separates it shifts the rear end out of center and then now you have rear steer in the car that's why pan hard bars really are not optimal but that's what we're doing we'll see how far we get today supposed to look. Alrighty, so yesterday we left off 
I did some work without filming, but I mean, all I did honestly was tack this stuff in. Um, I tacked in this tab right here. Uh, boom, that tab right there for the wishbone. And then I tacked that little guy. I don't know if I'm gonna leave him or not, knock him back out or what, I have no idea. Right now I'm working on the wishbone. That's the first thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna do the wishbone and so we can take the pan hard bar out and then we're gonna be able to do the anti-roll bar. If you see that I'm covered in all of this white flaky, it's because I was practicing on this piece of PVC, on this notch for the wishbone. Um, I think I got it. So I'm gonna give it a shot with these two out there. And then measure this distance right here, which would be, after I mocked it up in the car, the distance from this point to this point is 18 inches, which will give me the right intersect angle up there. And then I just mark parallel on the tube where I'm gonna cut it. We've got 18 on center for the tubes. There we go on this end. And then you can see the little mark. This is the one I was talking about. You just, just parallel right here. And then I'm gonna use a cutoff wheel to just cut that off and then use the and then use a f flapper wheel to um, notch it out. Well, that's the plan at least. I say that confidently, but <sighs> there's PVC all over the car because I was practicing. <laughs> Look how much faith I had in myself. This is how much practice PVC I bought. Um, this is how much I used before I decided that I wanted to play the high stakes game. Well, there you have it uh came out more like 16 inches um but you know it is what i think 18 if i remember was as wide as i could go because of the fuel tank but obviously i have to tune these up a little tiny bit um uh, but they are notched with a grinder which is scary that was my first time doing that it came out okay i'm happy with it um so i'm gonna get these tacked so i can throw them in the car so that i can get an idea of where i'm gonna um where I'm gonna place the the bar that's gonna go like right here from or it's actually more like right here directly underneath the main hoop and it's gonna go straight across so I'll get that part figured out it's a good thing that ow what the hell dirty bastard it's a good thing that um I didn't do 18 inches because look at that it's like literally exactly perfect um, but here's how it's gonna sit in here at ride height. Now what this is doing, for those who don't know what a wishbone does, it's it's centering it's centering the rear end. Instead of this pan hard bar, the wishbone's gonna center it. We're gonna get rid of this because these suck. It's in here. This is tacked. Just little tiny tacks here. Um, enough to enough to finish mocking everything up. And then I've been advised to X brace this wishbone. But it fits, it works perfect. We're gonna, um, yeah, we're gonna go from here. The crossbar, which is that one, cut. It's gonna go, oh, sorry. It's gonna go right there. You see the um, the laser cut uh, brackets there and the other floor stand that's where it was holding it up. So I'm gonna tack on the plates for right here. Like I said, this is right underneath the cage. Uh, I know that because you can see <laughs> where it was burned through a little tiny bit in some spots, uh, but I'm going to tack the plates on here, and we'll get this crossbar welded in soon-ish. See that? 
That looks pretty big to you, doesn't it? It looks big to me. Look at this lady. Do you think she's actually going golfing? Or she's gonna hit somebody with that golf club? She's over there walking her dog. You can't see her now. She's walking around with a golf club. You know that's the same as just like walking around with a baseball bat? Like, you're not fooling anybody. People, man. Man, look at, look at this. We're getting somewhere with those wells. Those are half decent. It's probably gonna be it for the night. I just, I got this new toy. I've obviously already tested it out, but $150 on Amazon, all billet tubing notcher. Comes with everything except for notcher, or except for the hole saws. So you just have to get your own. And it's so needle bearing too. Dual needle bearing, two on each side. Like I said, it's all billet. Uh, Amazon has them for 150 bucks. I'll leave a link in the description if you want one of these billet tubing notchers for 150 bucks. I'm getting stuff all over the workbench just for you guys. you've never notched tubing before and uh, the only thing I had to do you can see right here just to adjust it because it was notching off center I just added four sheets of paper under here and now it's pretty much dead nuts on center it might be a little bit uh, a little bit off still but this is way 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 more manageable so I'm not even gonna put I'm not even gonna clean this up at all ready here just just Oh, uh, there's a little bit of gristly stuff in here that's... Look, just look at that. That is about as easy as it gets. I mean, come on. It, if you're doing anything with tubing, it goes up to three inches. Anything with tubing, uh, I would get one. Alrighty, it is the next day. Uh, that's probably gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna, I'm about to get started. I'm about to get started today on picking up where I left off, but I'm also going to stop this video because it is like 22, 23 clips already. I have a lot of editing, but uh, yeah, we'll pick up where we left off on the next video. Thanks for watching. Like always, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.